was that? This is the New York Times best-selling author, Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Who's that? It's her book. Oh, it's our dost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions to it's I'm Corbin. I haven't finished it yet. Get it? It's unfinished. Ha! Follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. It's Make so it juicy. I'm I'm halfway through. I'm on page 140. Uh, highly highly recommend thus far. Is it like a biography? Yeah, it's a memoir. Ah, uh, what's the difference between a memoir and a biography? Not as in depth. Oh. It's just kind of a free floating, I'm gonna share some things with you. Uh, and she says straight up in the beginning of the book, there's just some stuff I'll never tell you because my private life's my private life. Mm -hmm. So good for you, Priyanka. Not me, I'm an open book. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I'm, um, you know, in writing, I'm the kind of person I share, I probably overshare, I'm a bit, you know, I, 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 I share, I share a lot. But she just she just says straight up in the beginning of the book, there's just some things that I've found there's a very clear line. And comparatively, I'm sure the higher you get up in that level of notoriety, the more you become protective and quiet and you don't yeah, want to share I, stuff. I would ever write a memoir. Yeah, I, I would. I'm not the kind of person that, one, remembers everything, two, wants to share anything. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> You'd allow someone else to write your memoir and then you wouldn't let them publish it. Yeah. Yep. And they go like, oh, that was great. Thanks, no, thanks. can't do that. <gasps> Sorry about that. Uh, today we're doing a food video. We love food videos. I hope you're hungry. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a banana, huh? Yeah. Uh, Phallic-shaped fruit. Everything with you is about penises. Uh, this is the best foods to try in, say this, uh, in Manak Chalk. Amaradab, uh, Amat, uh, Amaradab, street food, Midnight Kaugali. Ah, cool. Uh... You know the proper way to open a banana, by the way? Throat first. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not this end. Oh yeah? It is, it's Dude. not this end, it's supposed to be this end. You're supposed to just pinch this, and then you peel from here. This is the handle. No, it's not. Yes, it is, they grow from here. Watch how, I don't, I don't watch how monkeys eat bananas. Watch how monkeys fling their shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't go to a monkey like that's how I should do that. You're right. You're right. Monkeys are dumb. Say that to Coco. Okay, but she's dead. Wow. <laughs> Ripping on Coco, who said that her final words, "Nature's watching." So cool. Nature's watching, Corbin. But she's not. Just she's wait. Dead. Wait when you wake up and a gorilla's put shit on your face. Hey, I didn't tell you to start yet. Here we go. In today's video, we are going to introduce you to Gujarat's most multi-dimensional street, Manik Chok, which can be with in different <laughs> different times of the day. Pomegranate E. Oh, Manik Chok. Oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not Hold on, it's not giving me From stuff. From sunrise to okay. 10 in the morning, it is an organic vegetable market. At noon, it converts into a full-fledged wedding bazaar, but it is only for 6 p.m. that you can see the most dramatic and synchronized transformation when Manik Chop turns into a bustling food street. This food is starting at 8 o'clock, so it's about 2 p.m. at 2 p.m. To replace 13 the minutes parked here Roll with the food carts, tables and chairs. One, three. Let's start with the kebabs. Paneer kebabs made in a hara bhara masala. Oh, yeah. Is that paneer? Paneer kebab, yeah. With an achari twist. No, it's delicious. Try the unique basket safe puri, which has a super crunchy basket potato basket puri? base, 
to pull all the chai pata chapsies and like condiments by one on top. Yeah. Now the dish that is a must try green is the pav bhaji. The green pav bhaji is made with similar veggies as the regular pav bhaji. Going green is in trend, and why should pav bhaji stay behind, right? Oh. Another unique and the bath feature in which the pav is cut into bite-sized pieces, like, like tossed with a little butter, and served with the bhaji, the making your pav up. bhaji eating experience. Much easier and your life. There was a great thing we had in Amritsar that was that was your booger. Even the sandwiches at Manik Chop are yes, a class right, apart well. from the usual street side sandwiches. Hey, the sandwiches Mara Chop, is that what you're That's all up here. Chocolate cheese sandwiches, great. Chocolate what cheese sandwiches? The show is the pineapple cheese sandwich with ice cream. Pineapple, pineapple cheese, cheese ice cream? Ice cream. Butter, pineapple chan. And cheese is the perfect example of why the sweet savory combination works brilliantly. Wow. That looks tasty though. Never heard of that combo. Never thought of pineapple and cheese together. Why the pizza on flames at Manik Chop? Because it is not your yeah, regular pizza. This one <laughs> is topped with exotic veggies and a pile of cheese that is melted using a bowl. Oh, fancy. Oh, that's an interesting way to make a pizza. The next thing we tried was a delicious version of fried potatoes. And no, it's not French fries. That's cool. Potato that's really and awesome. The entire potato is finalized and deep fried. I've never seen that done before. That's never. cool. Then topped with tandoori mayo, chipotle, mint mayo, and seasoned with <laughs> peri peri. It's a light snack, but it's packed with flavor. That looks delicious. I would eat that. Salivating. If you think finding a scissor in a cow gully is impossible, think again. Because at the Manik Chop Cow Gully, you can dig into a pasta sizzler like never before. White sauce pasta, exotic vegetables in red. Pasta and Indian also food. I've not heard of that yet. Oh, white sauce? Like an Alfredo sauce? If there's no garlic in there, I'm going to be disappointed. Quench your thirst with a very famous drink. Jamun shots made using fresh jamun and ice poured into tiny shot glasses. Jamun, like glob jamun? Cheers. It's not fair to walk out of Manik shop without trying out the classic Gujarati combo of Gatia and Jalebi. Just one bite is enough to make you understand why What's the first you one? every occasion with this heavenly combo. I know that one. Whether it comes to serving great food or coexisting with each other, end the bar always leads the way and Manik Chok is a great example of it. We hope you do visit Manik Chok and experience this how well it is. <laughs> if this video has left your mouth watering, like and share this video and do let us know in the comment section below other iconic food spots you'd like us to visit. Are oh, you, you are waiting. similar content, be sure to subscribe to Things To Do. I, I thought we were say it again. More. Yeah. <coughs> Whatever. Uh, this. Manak Chok. <laughs> All I heard is Manak Chok. <laughs> Down your time. <laughs> um, Delicious. Del and again, what? stuff I've never seen in my life. Yeah, so this is this was very unique food. So it was yeah. taking a lot of I mean, it was get, it was taking a lot of like pizza and then giving it almost an Indian street food flair. Yeah. I've never seen the the potato served on a kebab never. that way, which was really interesting. Really cool. I would eat that and it looked like it's delicious. I'm sure it was. Um and I, it, I'm interested in the pasta because I've noticed I've never to have a or hear about a pasta in India. I, we didn't do it on the trip, but the two times I went to Calcutta, there were some places where Indrani took me that served us like one place did pizza mm -hmm. and another place did nachos. But it was Indian, right? It didn't say it's an Indian style, Indianized. It just said nachos. The other one said pizza. But when you're eating it, you're like, okay, it's not nachos, but it is nachos. Mm -hmm. And it tastes Indian. It was pretty freaking cool. 
Yeah, that's what that's yeah. usually what they do. They'll like their pizzas or their whatever if it's a it's an Americanized thing, but they'll Indianize it. They'll Indianize they'll it. They'll put a because yeah, because it doesn't have enough flavor for them. Yeah, the seasonings they put in. Yeah, they want more flavor. Their flavors to just uh, cheese and pepperoni and mozzarella sauce. Yeah. Mozzarella sauce. Mozzarella is a cheese. You meant marinara. Marinara is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Mozzarella sauce with marinara cheese. Oh, that'd be delicious. Oh, yeah. Bread and cheese is delicious. It is. Micah could live on bread. I could. If I could only eat one thing for the rest of my life and I will never get tired of it, it'd be bread and cheese and wine. I could probably eat that every day. Every day. And be totally happy. Just bread. Just plain bread. I will just with butter though, right? Or just oh, bread. On I don't. Table. I don't care. All kinds of breads. Yeah, yeah. I could just. I have a favorite kind of bread. Just. I mean, if it's fresh, it's probably delicious. But I, I love olive bread. I love. I, I love warm. <coughs> excuse me. Sourdough with butter. Sourdough's delicious. <sighs> but no, I don't often need anything on it. I like if I'm ever if there's no other snacks, even if there are other snacks, I'll just. Go into like a pouch of bread. I'll just like a like a duck, which you're not supposed to do to ducks. Yeah, don't feed don't ducks. Feed bread. birds or ducks. Bread, bread is not for them. You don't see them out there with you know baking. Honestly, things. processed bread is not for us. True. You should be eating whole grain, whole wheat, <laughs> uh, not just whole wheat, whole yeah. grain. Uh, yeah, it's it's not healthy for anybody, but it's especially yeah. not healthy for the ducks and yeah. and birds. But yeah, this was, the way they did the pizza was really interesting. Uh, they put a whole bunch of stuff on top, yep. and then they burnt it. They did like a creme brulee burn on the top. I'm guessing it was probably on an oven, but they kind of did it from the top, which was Seared the top. super interesting. I so love good. food videos because it's always so interesting and delicious, and I love food. Yep. Now I'm hungry again. Yep. Let us know what other food videos we should react to down below. Look, my little.